Today I will show you how to make this glowing hands effect. Yo, hello. It's Povika some editing visuals here. And real quick guys, I filmed this video when I was whispering because I had to be really quiet because my sister was sleeping. So if it, the video was a bit weird, that's why. So, all right, let's begin. The first thing you want to do is uh, duplicate your clip layer by pressing Control D. And now you can uh, right click on it and press pre-compose. And here you can call it like Roto Brush. Move all attributes into your composition, press OK. I have already roto brushed it here, but I'm just going to show you what you'll have to do. So you'll have to double click on this layer and here double press again on here. Go to this tool, it's roto brush. If you don't know how to roto brush, there are plenty of videos on YouTube how to roto brush. So you check them out. But basically what you'll need to do is just roto brush the hands out. So I'm just going to take it like this and just, just roto brush like that hand and this hand and then make like these adjustments by like deleting here and frame by frame and just roto brushing it out. All right, once you're done, Roto brushing, you will have it basically like this. This is gonna be your roto brush. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is these are just hands. So, so the first effect I like to add here is CC wide time and just add it like this. And I like to make the forward steps to two, backward steps to two, and go to native motion blur and make it on. Keyframe them like this and press U and you will see the keyframes and now go to the start and make them zero at the start, both just zero. And then at the end, also make them zero. Uh, this will give like this sort of like a trail echo effect. And then let's add S flicker. This effect requires the Sapphire plugin, but you should probably have this plugin. And I like to make the amplitude to 0.3 and keyframe it at the middle and go to the start. And here make it like 0.1 and go to the ending and here make it 0.1. Now let's add noise. Make the amount of noise to 32% and check use color noise and also keyframe amount of noise and go to the start and make the amount of noise zero. And at the ending, I like to not make it just fully zero, but like 10%. And now we can add deep glow uh, you can just add normal glow here and mess around with that so with deep glow you can make the radius a bit higher so like 600 and then the exposure you can mess around a lot it depends on your footage as, as well but i like to make it at the highest point to 0 0.8 now let's keyframe the exposure right here and go to the start and here make the exposure to zero and go to the ending and here make the exposure like zero point three or something but not like fully zero let's go to input and here we can mess around a lot for you these are going to be very different settings by the way but i like to make the threshold just like somewhere like 71 percent here but i have a different clip where it doesn't work with 71 percent and it looks very bad so for that clip i had like 50 percent even but you see it's going to be a bit different it just really depends i want to make it the red so that's why on this clip for some reason if you go to like closer to 70 you start to see it a bit more red so we can keep it at 65 i guess but now I'm just gonna make it to 70 but this will probably be different for you guys and keyframe the threshold and go to the start and here make the threshold to like 15 and don't do anything at the ending i think i think at the ending it looks okay and that's pretty much it for the glowing hands you can now press u and it will show up every keyframe and now you can go to the one of the effects press ctrl a hold shift and select every keyframe go to animation save animation preset and here you can call it the glowing hands and whenever you want to add it, you'll just be able to roto brush your hands out and add this effect. Another thing you can do is like press Ctrl to Y, so you can have like levels. And here we can make the input black a bit higher. Keyframe the histogram like here and go to the start and make the input black to like zero. Let's go to the end and make the input black to zero. And we can press U and we can actually like press F9. So it's going to be a bit smoother. And other things I would really recommend for these type of videos, because I know it works very well. You can see this effect is very grungy, sort of like opium. Guys, I have just released an opium presets pack, which is a 30 plus presets pack that has opium texts, glitches, and really cool opium effects and they work very well with this type of effects right here for example you would just need to press ctrl y and you can just type opium and you can go to one of the effects and just opium 2 for example and when you add it it's gonna look super opium these effects are very drag and drop so if you like opium style effects this pack is gonna be very nice for you you do need signal and sapphire plugins but if you have those then have fun with the pack and you can use code povicas to get five dollars off on the opium presets pack all right guys that's pretty much it for the video you cannot just add this effect to the hands but you can add it to whatever like head legs i wonder how that will look but you know whatever all right it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya